angry guy here. And today we're discussing why young women are being fired from their jobs as passport bros leave. Young women are being fired from their jobs as password bros leave. We actually have an article that we're going to be discussing today. It circulates around one of my favorite, least favorite subjects, Gen Z. Managers are reporting that Gen Z workers are lazy and lack the basic social skills necessary to hold a job. As you guys have noticed, I love talking about how much I despise like this generation of young people, mostly because I find them to be lazy. Uh, They have very poor values, no values, they're godless, and they don't care. And there's also the hygiene issue. Well, managers are noticing. Gen Zers have gotten a bad reputation for being unproductive and even downright lazy on the job. Generation Z consists of people who were born between 1996 and 2010, making Gen Zers anywhere from 13 to 27 years old. That's pretty interesting. The young crowd of workers has infuriated managers across various industries, leaving many bosses frustrated and confused about how to effectively lead their Gen Z employees towards success. Basically, let them go home and pay them for doing no work. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Gen Z. Gen Zers have been deemed too emotional at work. Managers everywhere are reportedly at their wit's end with, when it comes to dealing with Gen Z employees. Gen Zers are typically young people who are in high school, college, entering the workforce with their first real job. Members of this demographic have been accused of being too emotional while at work, leaving their superiors unable to properly manage them on the job. Let's continue on. Given the fact that Gen Zers are mostly teenagers and young adults in their early to mid-20s, they are still learning how to behave on the job. According to a report from Wall Street Journal, most millennial managers view Gen Zers as a liability simply because they let their emotions get the best of them. And the millennials were called a weepy generation. Don't forget how bad the millennials were, guys. So when when millennial managers are saying it's bad, it's bad. According to a report from the Wall Street Journal, most millennial managers view Gen Z as a liability simply because they let their emotions get the best of them, while It's been suggested that many Gen Gen Z workers struggle to fit in at their place of employment. It certainly doesn't help that their managers are unsure how to guide them. So yeah, guys, Gen Z is really wreaking havoc. Surveying managers on their opinions of Gen Z employees. So a recent study surveyed more than 20 managers to gather their opinions on what it's like overseeing Gen Z employees. Of the people who were polled, some of them were millennials born between 1981 and 1996, while others were baby boomers born between 1946 through 1964. This is actually strange. Where's Gen X? (laughs) Guys, Gen X is out just minding their business. Guys, you got to love Gen X. You got to love Gen X. Gen X is not even in the room. Their varying perspectives were interesting, and some of their experiences when Gen Z workers may shock you. Bro, Gen X is the greatest generation. Gen X is the greatest generation. Oh, my gosh. So let's keep on moving. One manager believes Gen Z workers struggle to focus. Being young does have its perks. But it also can be difficult to stay focused on work as a Gen Zer. According to Jeff Elkins, the director of security for a Florida casino, many of the Gen Zers he hired have wasted valuable time on the job searching for gray areas on topics he considers to be very black and white. They're lazy, bro. They're just lazy. They're trying to look for any way possible to do as little work as possible. This trait has often led to Elkins being frustrated by his Gen Z employees' inability to focus on getting their work done. 
See, back in the day, you'd be afraid of your boss. You'd be afraid that your boss would fire you. Gen Z doesn't care. <laughs> and Gen Z will quit without any notification. They have no civility. Now, don't get me wrong. Companies have treated employees like crap for a long time. But Gen Z are not very personable. They're so terrible. They're just absolutely bit terrible. Thinking the rules don't apply to them. While his industry has strict regulations, Elkin has found that his young employees usually have trouble following the rules because they think they are outdated. Guys, I used to work in insurance. I had to go through a huge background check, FBI background check. I mean, like extensive stuff, extensive stuff, guys. It's absolutely, it's insanity. When you became an adult, a young adult, and you started working at a company, you had to have a certain amount of respect for your boss. And just to get a job, like for me, getting a job in um, in insurance, in a certain insurance firm, was very difficult because I had to go through a huge background check, right? And you had to have like a spotless record, absolutely spotless record, you know, going through that. You had to have an absolutely spotless record going going through that background check. And for me... For me, I think to myself, like, wow, this is what Gen Z is like? Because to pass a background check, these a lot of these guys can't pass a background check because they have, like, some offense by the time they're 21, all right? Something. And you, you, think, you think about this, like, you have to, you're working with accounts sometimes that are, like, worth, like, you know, hundreds of millions of dollars. Like, you know, we'd have Microsoft as a client. We actually had Microsoft as a client. And, you know, we had an account from them that's worth hundreds of millions of dollars. And we had a bunch of accounts like that, you know, billions of dollars worth of accounts. And it was scary because you don't want to be the one to mess that up. And when you'd run into one of those accounts, you would, you know, you'd put, you'd send it over to like a senior, to a, to a senior employee. And you have to be very careful with with privacy and stuff like that. And, you know, because you'll go to jail. You'll go to In fact, we would get regular trainings, you know, regular trainings, tutorials, like, well, tutorials. Basically, we'd have to go through these trainings that basically reminding us if we if we give out, you know, personal information, if we steal information, we, just, we will go to jail. We will. You will go to jail. And, you know, I'd have, we'd have customers call and, you know, that had large accounts with us and they would ask. You know, how do we know as as your cons as your customers that, you know, that we can trust you with all this personal information, you know, because you have everything about us. You know how much money we make. You have our social security number. You have all this information. How can we trust you? How can I trust you? And my simple response was, oh, you don't have to worry. They let us know on a regular basis. If we misuse your information, we will go to jail. And they would go, oh, OK. And that would satisfy them. That that would that would satisfy the customer. Like okay, like yeah, no, we're we're trained. We get regular trainings that if we misuse your information, we will go to jail. <laughs> that and that would make them extremely happy and calm them down. Gen, Z, but guys, Gen Z is like bet. <laughs> Gen Z is literally out here like bet, bet. Oh my gosh, this is a weird generation. This is. This generation is crazy, man. This generation is crazy. I don't know. I don't know. Like they, they're, they're, they're just, they're, they're unbelievable. <laughs> you hire Gen Z in fast food, and they're eating the, they're just chilling, eating the food, and enjoying themselves, going on breaks. You know, people coming to the restaurant, they want to order. Gen Z is there telling them like, you need to wait. All right. Because you don't need to eat. If you don't have any respect, you don't need to eat. Because I don't work for you. And I'm going to get paid either way. <laughs> this is Gen Z. This is Gen Z. And you can't hire them as managers. Because they'll all be in there just chilling. All be in there just chilling and lying too. Lying, 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 lying. Gen Z is a bad generation, man. Bad juju, man. Bad juju. Bad juju. Bad juju. <laughs> hey guys, I've already said this. I've already said this. When something some something serious happens in society, and you know it's because of some Gen Z or like you know the power grid goes down, you know the electric grid goes down, and uh, and it's and it's some Gen Zers' fault, 
or like there's like a, you know, like some like there's some kind of like problem on a spaceship, and you know, and and it's some Gen Zers' fault. The, guys, the Gen Zer is not going to be the one who gets punished. It's going to be the person who put them in charge. Because what are you, <laughs> what are you going, guys? The question could come up like, who hired them? First off, I want to know who hired this person. Who <laughs> who hired them, and who thought it was a good idea to put them in charge? Because you are the one that's going to be punished for this. It's going to be the direct supervisor or whatever. It's going to be a millennial or a Gen Xer or a boomer. But it's not going to be. It's not going to be the Gen Z. All right. They're going to be there, like playing with playing with Play-Doh or something. These <laughs> these guys can't. <laughs> they're getting worse as they get older, man. If anyone cannot see it. Gen Z is getting worse as they get older. As they get older, they get worse. All right. Elkin says that the standard operating procedures that have been placed for decades have been called antiquated by Gen Z employees. He further added that Gen Z workers feel the rules don't apply to them. They don't give a they don't care about jail like that. They're like, who's coming for me? All right. It's, it's like, guys. It's the amount of money that it's going to cost. Ultimately, you know, they're going to say, well, you know, you're the direct, you know, your direct manager is responsible and stuff like this and blah, blah. Who put them in charge? Who gave them this responsibility? Gen Z is not so, guys, could you imagine these people in the military? Could you imagine these people leading, trying to, like, I told y'all, you know, the future, the future of pretty much everything is older millennials and Gen Xers. Like, Gen X will not be allowed to retire. Gen X is just going to have to, like, just, you know, just keep on working until the end. Because there's really no one, there's no one left to lead the country. There really isn't. The the future will be led by older millennials and Gen Xers. Because younger millennials are absolutely terrible. That's that's really it. There's, there's no, guys, Gen Z can't read or write, and they can't do math. And I hear nonsense in the chat, in the comments, where people are like, "Oh well, okay, so maybe this, maybe the the current, you know, the older members of Gen Z are terrible, but you know, there's still an entire half of them that haven't even graduated from high school or middle school yet. So hopefully, they'll be better. They're hoping that the youngest Gen Zers will be better than the oldest Gen Zers. But we can literally see that the younger the, the younger the generation gets. The worst they are. The younger millennials are the worst of the millennials. All right? The younger millennials are the worst of the millennials. And the oldest Gen Zers are, ter- are terrible. They're, the old- they're terrible. They're just as bad as the oldest millennials or worst. And someone's- and people seem to think, that, oh, but maybe maybe things will improve with the, with the younger Gen Zers. Guys, with the... Guys, it's like people, they're in absolute denial. They're in absolute denial. All right? And Gen Z doesn't care. Gen Z is literally like YOLO. A 28-year-old pizza shop manager named Amber revealed that, that many of her Gen Z hires have been caught eating food without paying for it. Guys, didn't I tell you that they just stand around and eat? Didn't I just tell y'all? Didn't I just tell y'all that Gen Z will just stand around and eat the, and eat food if they work at a fast food place? They'll just stand around and eat. I called it, guys. I haven't read this yet. I did not read this yet, okay? I was like, wait, is this still a part of this story? OMG. All right? <laughs> All right. It, a 28-year-old, 20, so she's one of the younger millennials, 28-year-old pizza shop manager named Amber. Four, it's revealed that many of her Gen Z hires have been caught eating food without paying for it, pocketing tips, and hanging out with their friends instead of actually working. <laughs> oh my god. Gen Z's literally out here like, what you gonna do about it? Who's gonna stop me? Who's gonna stop me? This is Gen Z. Who's gonna stop me? Listen, man, you know what? I'm not even feeling it right now, all right? I'm going home. And you know, you can listen, I'll be back when I'm back, and that's about it. And and, and people are like, bro, you bro, your shift ends in seven hours. Yeah. And uh, 
you know, you're going to have to find someone to cover for me. And that's going to be it. You know, that's your, that sounds like a you problem, not a me problem. That's Gen Z. That's literally Gen Z. That's literally Gen Z. And that's if you, that's if you even get that much from Gen Z. Because they'll just walk out and leave. And you should just assume that they're gone. They'll just take up, they'll just pick up and leave. And then show up like two days later for work. After missing a day. And Gen Z is basically like, yo, listen, take it or leave it. That's really how it is. Take it or leave it, all right? And they have no problem walking around, walking out while listening to some Travis Scott and, and eating on some cookies or, or, or whatever it is that they stole from the store on their way out the door, all right? I'll tell you, Gen Z is, Gen Z is, a, Gen Z is, is on the heavier side for a reason because Gen Z eats well. Gen Z eats well because they steal well, all right? If they work at Pizza Hut, you better, you best believe they're not going home hungry. When you go to their car, you're going to find boxes and boxes of pizza in there every single night. And it's literally like, who's going who to stop me? Who's going to stop me? Who's going to stop me? That's how Gen, this is how Gen Z looks at life. Who's going to stop me? And these these you guys these guys are some real scumbags. They will happily sleep on a on, on a jail floor. They'll sleep on a jail floor. Gen Z is a bad, like I said, man, bad juju, bad juju, bad juju, bad juju, bad juju, bad juju. <laughs> oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. While she's had her fair share of negative experiences when Gen Z is on the job. She hasn't completely ruled out all young Gen Zers. It, it's a hister, it's a hit or miss for it, said Forrest. I would say 70% don't work out because they lack motivation and initiative. That's 70%. All right. That leaves only 30%, guys. More than half. 70%. So we're looking at almost three-fourths of all Gen Zers. Three-fourths, almost three out of every four Gen Zers will not work out. Can't do the job. Working at a pizza shop. Because they're too busy stealing food. Pocketing. (laughs) Oh, God. Stealing food. Pocketing tips. That would appear to be for everyone. (laughs) Gen Z's like, nope, that's mine. (laughs) Bro. Customer comes in. Drops tip in tip jar. Gen Z grabs chip jar, empty chip jar, puts that in pocket. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, manager approaches Gen Z and voices and voices uh voices disdain. Gen Z says take it up with corporate. Not my problem. Guys, Gen Z is bad, man. Bad, 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 bad. And if you try to call the cops, you're gonna have to call them. You're gonna have to call them on all of them, because as what as as what as they pick up one, another one's gonna do. It's just gonna pick up where they left off. These some bad people, man. Bad juju, bad juju, bad juju, bad juju, bad juju, bad juju. Okay, the Gen Z idiots. It's irritating because most of the time I end up doing all the work despite my efforts. Of delegating. These people don't these people don't deserve. Okay, so working with unmotivated Gen Z employees has been challenging to for Forrest, who just barely missed the Gen Z mark herself. Then I got then I tell you guys like she's one of the older one of the youngest of the millennials. All right, and even she's complaining about these people. As a young yet determined millennial, she admitted that society viewing her peers as lazy is beyond frustrating before adding that young workers were once seen as the most viable and vivacious members within a workplace setting. How the tides have changed is jarring. She said, guys, this is unbelievable. Think about this very carefully. And there's some, some of you, some of you guys are going to literally say, everything's going to be okay. We'll be just fine. What are you guys on? Like, are you guys paying attention? No one can work with these people. 
and Gen X is staying completely out of this like they've done for decades. Bro, Gen X is staying out of this. They're, bro, Gen X is literally staying out of this. My gosh. They surveyed baby boomers and millennials. Where the heck is Gen X? Staying out. Gen X chilling. Gen X is just chilling like a villain. Miss not Gen X, good guy Gen X, not touching that pile of crap from a mile away, not touching that with a stick. All right, Gen X, Gen X, Gen X. Oh my gosh, let me read this. As a young yet determined millennial, she admitted that society viewed her peers, uh, society viewing her peers as lazy is beyond frustrating. So, I read that already. Let's continue. There are times when Gen Z work styles work best. Sean Cusack, a director at, of a biotech startup, was one of the few people to defend Gen Z's way Gen Z's way of working. The 41-year-old even claimed that sometimes the method of Gen Z employees work best. In his field, Cusack cited summarizing data in a trackable digital format as being something that the young employees excelled at. While he admitted that Gen Z workers are prone to the shutting down. Let me repeat that over again. So they're good with they're good with digital stuff, but he then admitted that Gen Z workers are prone to shutting down. They burn out easily, guys. Kusak wouldn't say it's all because of laziness. Personally, I would say what I notice about Gen Z is a tendency to turn inwards out of fear of being wrong, he said. Experts have stated that a main problem for Gen Z is that they spend too much of their time taking online college courses and working on internships remotely. Yeah, they don't plan on, you know, guys, the events of 2020 were a blessing for Gen Z because it opened up the door for them to be even less social and to now use use it as a reason for never returning to returning to um, to, to physical campuses or interacting face to face. Because Gen Z really doesn't like being around people, you know. I mean, like, like you'll have a bunch of Gen Zers, and they're all like on their phone, and they're like, "We're like the best." They're like, "They were the best of friends," and they're all on their phones. Since so many things are done online these days, many recent graduates lack certain on-the-job skills. It is pivotal for managers to understand this generational challenge and pivot their managing styles to help Gen Zers develop proper workplace skills. Guys, someone said this. There was someone who said this, and it's so true. I've seen this over and over. Too much college, not enough kindergarten. All right? Because it's in kindergarten and pre-kindergarten especially where you learn how to socialize with other children. You are literally taught socialization skills starting in pre-K. If children miss... I, guys, if children miss... Pre-kindergarten, it can be a big problem just dropping them in kindergarten. It really can. And, and so a lot of you know about this as well, like the importance of pre-K. And in many cases, even nursery. Start, you know, because kids have to be socialized early on. And clearly, Gen Z needs to go back to kindergarten. Huh. These guys are just bad, man. These guys are just bad. Career coach Abit Bata Chara, uh, Charya, I was hoping I could pronounce that in one go, shared his beliefs that Gen Z workers prioritize more meaningful work over higher pay. No, they want to get their bag. Trust me, they want to get their bag, all right? This guy's out of his mind. They are more likely to trade off salary for better quality of work, although salary is an important factor. You see that? See what I said? He said, but Bhattacharya pointed out what is standing in the way of Gen Z workers feeling valued and appreciated. Most organizations do not have high quality roles in entry level positions, he said, which is a major cause of why they feel disengaged. I don't know what these people ex expect, all right? Gen Z workers may often get looked down upon, but there are many advantages to hiring young workers. For starters, most young hires are generally technologically savvy. Guys, a lot of these, a lot of them 
they, they know how to do some things, but they also lack basic skills in other ways. Like ask Gen Z to write an email and they're laughing in your face. Gen Z can't write an email, bro. Writing an email is something that millennials, Gen Xers, and even boomers can do better than some boomers can do better than Gen Z. Gen Z is not a very personable generation. They're not good at communicating with others, which is very, very serious. Gen Z cannot write an email. Forget about writing a letter. So it says, for starters, most young hires are generally technologically savvy. Gen Z has figured out how to utilize social media platforms such as TikTok to ask the public for answers to everyday work-related conundrums, from how to talk to their bosses to what to what's appropriate to where to work. Gen Z has mastered social media. When they have a problem, they connect, talk, and share experiences in order to come to a resolution. Guys, it's not that they've mastered social media. It's just that they don't realize what that the internet is forever. They think they're smarter than their millennial and Gen Xer peers. They don't comprehend the reason why there are fewer older people on TikTok and on these other platforms is not because they don't know how to use them. It's because they realize there are serious consequences for putting your entire life on the internet. All right? Because the internet is forever. All right. All right, you're all right. When they have a problem, when they have a problem, they connect, talk, and share experiences in order to come to a resolution. Those qualities alone are valuable assets within the workplace. They don't like speaking to one another. Just because they know how to make a TikTok doesn't mean that it translates well when you're working in an office. That's absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense. All righty, guys. So. That is pretty much it. That's another article. I mean, guys, this is the, this is the reality that we're currently in. You know? Gen Z is lazy and hazy. They're miserable, terrible to be around, terrible to work with. And they're being fired from their jobs. As you can see, they can't even work at a pizza restaurant. 70% of them don't work out. They're stealing food, stealing tips, and stealing time. Stealing food, stealing tips, stealing time. Because when they should be working, they're hanging out with their friends, and time equals money. So they're so they're they're ste- guys. Think about this: they're stealing food, so that's stealing money. They're stealing tips, so that's also that's actually stealing money, and they're stealing time, which is also stealing money because time equals money. Gen Z is a generation of crooks. They're a generation of crooks and bandits. All right? And it's crazy because a lot of the young Gen Z women, they don't seem to realize that they keep this up. You know, men don't need a lot to survive. Men do not need a lot to survive. But these these young women, I don't know where they think that the future is heading for them. You know? I don't know if they if they think this is like, you know, there's there's this great big future waiting for them. Because when you realize that 45% of all women will be single come 2030, you know, that's, that's just like the writing on the wall. Single and childless, you know, between the ages of 25 and 44, you know, the oldest of the Gen Zers, you know, in, what is that, six, roughly six years, because we're almost in 2024, in six years, the oldest is the Gen Zers. They'll be in their 30s. So in six years, a lot of Gen Zers will be in their 30s or late 20s, and they'll be they're already burnt out. Gen Z is already burnt out. They are burnt out completely, 100% burnt out. Okay, they can't handle life. And you guys think that they're going to come around in their 30s, guys? They're going to begin dropping out. They're already dropping out. Okay. They're already quitting their jobs to go work at to to to, to take to, to go do Uber Eats and and stupid jobs, and they and they're gonna keep on trying to do these jobs well into the future. I mean, in California, guys, in California, 
they'll now be making a minimum of twenty dollars per hour. If you work at a fast food, you'll be making a minimum of twenty dollars per hour, which is very worrying because then that means that you're gonna have you you. That means that you're gonna have people working at McDonald's now that are making fifty thousand dollars a year. I mean, a minimum of forty thousand guys. They'll be getting a minimum of forty thousand dollars a year working at McDonald's. But you'll have, but and they'll be getting inflationary raises every year, which is which are pretty damn high. And you ultimately will have a lot of them now pushing or making roughly fifty thousand dollars a year because the guy, the people that are that are working there already at McDonald's, they're going to be due for raises. So they're going to see significant raises and make like fifty thousand dollars a year, forty five to fifty. And then, guys, that this also covers people like Starbucks employees, which makes it even worse because a lot of those guys, they collect tips. So those Starbucks employees and other employees, other tipped workers who are, who are getting a salary, if they're getting a minimum of $40,000 a year, and it, all right, and, and, and many of them will be now making $50,000 a year after working there for a couple of years, and they're collecting tips, guys. They can easily pull in anywhere between sixty and eighty thousand dollars a year, and in some cases, much more than that. You really think that these Gen Z idiots are going to leave these leave these jobs and go and actually become functional members of society? You're insane. You know, I had to have my heart checked recently. Many of you guys know that I was having some heart issues. And it's funny because I'm supposed to be on a heart monitor now and I've been like just putting it off. But, you know, I had to get my heart checked. I had, they had to do like some tests on me. And the chick who did the, did the uh, you know, strapped me up with all that stuff and whatever. She, you know, I was, you know, I, I, I you know, I Googled her and I saw her LinkedIn and her education. And it was crazy because. It you know to do the job that she did, you know that she does. It takes a four year education. It requires a ton of math. You know you really don't actually need a lot of math to be a doctor. This is something that they don't tell you. You don't need a lot of math to be a doctor, like like a calculus class and some other nonsense. There's really not a lot of math in medicine. It's amazing. I once heard a doctor say how he's he's often amazed just how little science there is in medicine. It's madness. But you really don't need a lot of math to be a doctor, but in the certain specializations in the medical field, you do need to use a lot of math. And for example, the kind of work that she was doing, I forget the, uh, the exact name for it. She needed a lot of math. And, you know, I can see the university that she went to, the program that she was in. And, uh, and also, and I, when I looked it up, it's like, it, it's so much math. And then like, I think there was like an internship, internships and all kinds of stuff. And then, like, the base pay works out to something like, starting pay works out to something like, I don't know, like $50,000 starting out if you're lucky. And I'm like, what? You know? And, like, you know, after a few years, you might make, like, you can make, you know, after a while working in there, you can make around 68000 which is not bad. But, guys, it's so much work, and it's a lot of brain work when it's a lot of mental math. It's a lot of math when you're doing this, mental math when you're doing this, doing these like, doing these types of tests. And I'm thinking to myself, imagine how much work she had to do, how much studying she had to do to get this job and additional training to get this job and continuous, you know, continuous work she has to do doing this job. And then some Gen Z idiot is pulling in like the same amount of money as she is or more while stealing food, eat, while stealing food, stealing tips and stealing time. And they're like not going, these people are not going to translate well. And like, she was like one of the younger of them. She's one of the younger, based on what I saw, like she's one of the younger members of the millennials, but she appeared that she was a millennial, but it was crazy. Because the Gen Z, the Gen Z guys are like, they're not doing it. They're not doing it. Like they are, they're, they've like made up their minds like that they're gonna take the easy way out. 
They're going to take the absolute easy way out. They're not going to have a hard, they're not, they're not going to, uh, they're not going to be bothered anymore. This is the, this is the way route they've taken in life. And it's, and it's going to become increasingly difficult to fire them because as, as a lot of people are leaving the workforce now, you know, it's not, you know, men of all ages are leaving the workforce and it's like, what are you going to do? You don't have anyone else, you know? And then like the boomers, a lot of them are beginning to retire because they want to ride off in the sunset and go collect that sweet, sweet social security. And, you know, what's left, what's really left these Gen Zers, they don't, they, they don't give a, they don't give a darn and they're putting us at risk because a lot of them can't read, can't write, can't do basic math, and they don't care. There's also serious hygiene issues with Gen Z. And those hygiene issues can be problematic in, in certain industries. For one, you can't do this in medicine. You are exp- you have to wash your behind, you have to wash your butt in medicine. You have to wash your butt. You have to have good hygiene in medicine. You can't have these Gen Zers walking around and and, and, and not clean. And these are the type of people that will, you know, do strange things. Like, bro, you have to change those scrubs. You know, you can't, you you know, wash your hands. Gen Z is like YOLO. They don't care. And like, if you're interacting with people, it used to be, it used to be doctors complaining about patients and saying that a lot of the patients don't wash properly. And now it's like the reverse where you're going to have patients complaining about the doctors and saying that the doctors don't wash properly because you can smell them. And I am so taken aback with this and shocked, but I really shouldn't be. I don't know, guys. I, I, I'm just I'm just tired. I'm tired of the Gen Z idiots. I'm tired of the Gen Z idiots. What do you guys think about this? Young women are being fired from their jobs as password bros leave. I want to know what you're what you what you guys is like I could say it like one of those Gen Zers. You guys is right? No. I want to know what you guys think about this. And guys, if you're enjoying the content, remember to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, never miss another video again, and like the video because it tells YouTube you're enjoying the content and you want to see more of it. So what is YouTube going to do? They're going to show you more of the content. And because you know it's it's good content, it's enjoyable and 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 it's engaging. You know, where else are you going to get something so so terrific. But guys, let me know what you think in the comments regarding the nonsense and the foolery, the absolute foolery that Gen Z is doing in modern day society today. Because I am, I for one, am, I'm frustrated with it. I am disgusted by it. And I don't think that it should be tolerated by anyone. All right, guys. So let me know what you think in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA. Men walking away and cheer.